Super was a Mario Nintendo. RPG. It's one of those a donkey. Super Nintendo games that I've always heard so much praise for, but I've never actually gone. I actually want to get a Switch again, man. This there's, there's so many like good games that just kind of popped out of nowhere that I've blanked out and forgot about. This Mario Wonder has been having wondrous apparently just everywhere. Um, uh, what's that one? Linky, of course. Linky two. I'll play Linky two. Pikmin three. Oh, bro, there's so many like stacking. There's stacking. When I was a kid, I had Paper Mario, and I loved that game. I remember I had the N64 hooked up in the basement at my dad's house, and I just slammed through that thing like two weekends. I always loved video games. Oh, Toy so Story. That's a classic. I went all the way to the True. End Most games back then were just too hard for me, so I was usually replaying the first couple levels. Over now, games were harder. Straight, like... And that system was not it. So when I got Pokemon Yellow and Paper Mario, it was insane to me that I could actually progress through the entire game. Paper Mario <laughs> especially blew my mind. I couldn't believe how much stuff there was in that game. That was by far the most complete and expensive. I don't think game I ever played ever that. Played. Playing Super Mario RPG all these years later, I am impressed at how much stuff they were able to fit into a game that is only half as long. The thing about RPGs, especially one from this generation, is that they demand an absurd level of commitment to see them through to the end. Which is why when I beat one that I don't True. like, it seems like the worst game ever made. Even with ones I do like, I'm just daunted at how long they are. I still haven't beat Persona True. 5. Uh, True, I was just about to bring up Persona. I love Persona 4. Like, a lot of it. But, man, it's just too long. <laughs> it's just too long whenever you, like... Persona 3, 4, 5, like, I want to play them all, but I also don't. For seven years now, and then they put out a new, longer version of the game. Just this year, <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3, 100-hour game, Final Fantasy 60-hour game, Starfield 70 hours, Bow Long 35 hours long, Lies of P, Diablo 4, Octopath 2, Sea of Stars, Fire Emblem, 82 Emotions, hours, 5, damn. Tactica, Star Ocean, 2 Yakuza, Trails into Reverie, Mega Man Battle Collection, 85. Legacy, Tears of the Kingdom, 114-hour game, Front Mission, First Remake, Dragon Quest Treasure, Big Dragon World, Quest Monsters, Big World, though. Jagged Alliance 3, Wrestle Quest, Final Fantasy 7, Ever Crisis, Wrestle? Guys, Seven, Lord, the fallen last nine bands for digimon dragon ball monkey ball there is not enough time in life to play just the rpgs from this year you kind of just have to pick one and hope that you pick the right one for the next five years i beat this game in 12 hours which is insane pretty true there's RPG. so many we're rolling the end credits on this before you even get to the good part of starfield lots of because hours it's such a short game the pacing is just bam 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 just a constant barrage of new characters new songs new enemies new boss fights they could have easily padded this out to be twice as long but nope even though many of the songs are much shorter this game has just as many tracks as final fantasy 6 they got 61 Mm, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. Play a little wow. mystical. A peculiarities that come oh, like a Digimon. Mario RPG developed by Square. There are a ton of new faces and bizarre characters you would never expect to see in a Mario game. Gino and Mallow are great companion characters, but even beyond them, characters like Boshi. How come we never see Boshi in Mario? Boshi. Or Big Yoshi. He comes from this game. But I couldn't actually find him. That was that was devastating. Hidden. Booster is great. I can't believe we never saw him again. Right. Carabascus, man, come on, Nintendo. Why can I not select Carabascus and Mario Golf? What are you people doing over there? Chain Kong, it's like, okay, obviously they can't bring him back after what he's done, but What is it? Just a big old chili? Why not select Carabascus? Boscus and Mario Golf. What are you people doing? Come on, Boscus? Kong is like, okay, obviously they can't bring him back after what he's done, but what about those other guys? There was Dodo, there was Frog God, there was Hippopo, the Jawfuls, there was a guy called Johnny the Ooh, Shark. Ooh, I like that guy. Yeah, he should be in golf for sure. I like There's that guy. guy called Knife He'd have a mean a swing. Lady with a bird on her head and a giant sword. She should be there then too. There's Tubbo Troopa. I love this guy. Oh, he should be there too. Like oh, that's day. cute. The <laughs> Tubbo Troopa. I really enjoyed how much trickier it is to get the timing and attacks and blocks down in this one than Paper Mario. You're encountering new enemies, faster attacks and defense require more precise timing, and every weapon you equip has its own attack timing. It makes combat feel more alive, like the timing is just a bonus thing instead of something you consistently rely on. And I like how you don't have to mm. waste turns to swap out dead party members. It's nice to have a team that oh, it just happens? You need them oh wait, that's pretty huge. The limbo they can actually I hit? This. I love this. 
I just did like 30 minutes of battling in five seconds of gameplay. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, shit. The visuals are phenomenal. I mean, look Wait. Is this an XP boost? Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Come on now. It's like the tactical insertion glitch. Scenes? The original has such a distinct style and somehow they've... Or not glitch, but technique. While modernizing it. Big brain. Lot. In terms of storytelling, what do you want me to say? I mean, obviously, you don't get as invested in the world and characters as you would in a huge game like Dragon Quest or Yakuza. It's a super low-stakes goof fest that doesn't talk your ear off. The most It looks well-developed, though. I mean, it is made by Nintendo, so and it is a very big franchise, so it usually will be pretty well-developed. But I'm surprised how like clean this attack interaction looks. Like, most of the time when it comes to RPGs, like I said earlier, it's like, that system just kind of gets taxing after a while for me, but this is, it seems um solid. Yeah. In Square's characters and not Nintendo's because they probably wouldn't let them. Although this game did invent Bowser's personality. Not all the Super Nintendo jankiness has been ironed out of this remake, but I think they did a great job overall. So my wish is that this studio would do Earthbound next. Am I right or am I right? Earthbound, Earthbound. that looks like this? Come on now. You gotta do it. Okay. They won't. But if Square is really <laughs> they won't. Alive, then Chrono Trigger Shit. is inevitable Rip. at this point. Chrono Trigger. Surely. I believe. 